My name is Jared. I'm Julian. Uh, so this is our project. It's our visor deployment mechanism. Uh, so just a basic summary of our project. Um, our mechanism is able to automatically deploy uh, two visors, one tinted and one uh, clear visor, to be able to prevent obstructions um, from the rider's visibility um, during their bike ride. This mechanism takes in input from a GPS module and a light sensing sensor. Depending on the condition, speed condition, and light condition, the different visor would deploy um, as uh, designed in the code. The GPS module feeds a speed reading um, to uh, the code to determine if the clear visor would go up or down, and the light sensor uh, would be uh, would be producing a, a sensor reading and that would determine if the tinted visor is deployed. Right now it's in auto mode, switch to manual mode, and then all the visors are coming down, and all the visors are going up. Again, all the visors are coming down, and tinted visors are going up, tinted visors are coming down, all the visors are going all going up, and all the wires are coming down. The, the actuation of the visors is um, done by two motors mounted on either side of the helmet, and the, and the motors are controlled by L298 motor control port. Um, so the mechanism also includes a display to display the rider's velocity at any given second. Um, the display utilizes a series of bitmaps that uh, are displayed when a certain velocity is met, uh, which is provided from the GPS. This mechanism also includes a manual control option. Um, a button board is used to for the user uh, as user uh, for the user as menu input. The button board would be located on the handlebar or in the hands of the rider, so the hand uh, so the rider does not have to take their hand off the bar to operate the system. The button board includes a few different options shown in the video. So a few key things that I learned from the project were how to develop bitmaps. Um, from a an image created in MS Paint, um, and then write a function for these bitmaps in in Sony or MicroPython, and display them whenever a certain velocity is read from the GPS. Um, I learned how to integrate um, different modules and different libraries um, on the internet as well as different functions read from different files to be automatically automatically read from the main file that is automatically produced from the Pika. Yeah, so on my side, um, the, well, one of the main things that I learned was um, how to power the um, microcontroller and the motors of the battery and using a motor control board to uh, as a power interface to uh, not only control the motors but also send power to the Pico board. Um, I also uh, was able to learn about uh, how to uh, incorporate different libraries and different modules uh, into the code. Uh, <laughs> Again, um, how to code using functions and how to make functions more useful and make my life easier uh, while, code, while coding the main script. Uh, something that could have been done uh, better or uh, something an uh, improvement that could be made in the future is to instead use a, instead using motors to actuate the uh, arm that's attached to the visors because uh, this would be a perfect situation to use a servo. Um, we would be able to get feedback, a close feedback from the servo motors 
instead of um, controlling the motors and having them stop by limit switches. Another thing that could be done better is uh, wire organization. Um, the prime prototype has a mess of wires and um, could have been done better.